Good morning, Nakab, everyone. Um, today we are going to continue talking about our financial functions, Nakab. Let me have a short recap for um, what we learned from the last class. Okay. On the last class, Nakab, we talk about um, some of the financial function. <clears throat> excuse me. Some of the financial function already. Let me just like share the screen. Okay, so <clears throat> we started talking about um, the financial functions in the first set. Okay? Um, on the last class, we talked about um, two functions already that were um, PMT and FV. Okay? When we talk about these um, set of functions okay, for set one and set two, normally um, the values okay, for um, each, um, each argument or each function can be used like um, together with like other functions as well. Uh, and as I told you, whenever we have um, one um, function, for example, if we have um, PMT function, uh, then the rest of the values, uh, FV and per PV and rate, will become the um, argument of PMT function. Uh, um, another thing is that when we have like FV function, uh, the rest of the values will become the argument of FV in the state. Okay. So um, on the last class, we started talking about the PMT function. Whenever we talk about the PMT function, PMT function or the payment function in the in the um, financial functions that we have to know. Um, for these set of functions, both set one and set two, um, we need to have two assumptions first before we can use like this function. The first one is that um, when you pay uh, or when, when, when there is a payment, um, the payment must be constant. That means <clears throat> the payment must be done equally, uh, the same amount every time uh, for the whole contractual period. Uh, um, the next assumption is that for the constant rate, uh, um, the um, interest rate that um, um, we have to pay uh, must be constant. That means um, they must be equal um, interest rate uh, for the whole contractual period as well. Uh, so when we talk about the, um, the first function that was PMT uh, or payment function, this function is used in order to calculate the payment that you have to pay um, in terms of like the loan uh, or in terms of like investment. Uh, and one thing that you have to know is that whenever we talk about the payment uh, or the amount of money for these functions, um, they have to be, uh, you have to think about like the symbol that we have to use for um, this amount of money. Uh, bear in mind that when the money is out of your pocket, uh, um, the symbol uh, to represent on those amount of money will be negative values. Uh, so it is not wrong, but you have to know that the money is going out. If the amount of money is positive, that means it is the money uh, that is with you uh, or the money that is coming into you. Uh, for example, if you say that you just like ask for the loan from the bank, when the bank give you the money, uh, um, the money is with you, then um, the um, amount of money is positive. Uh, okay, now um, let me just like give you um, the syntax of the PMT uh, and um, I just like talk about like the first example only uh, of each function uh, that we learned already so that you can save the time and then you know how do we just like justify those symbol. Uh, okay, for the PMT function, uh, we um, click on the um, insert function button or we can go to formulas and then click on insert function or we can go to the financial group uh, and then just like scroll to find the PMT. Uh, it's the same um, way in order to find another function. So for the PMT function, um, as I mentioned earlier, we have to use like the rest of the values as the um, as the um, arguments of the function uh, that are rate and per PV every uh, and in this one we have like um, another 
um, another argument that is what we call um, that is what we call type นะครับ so for the type function uh, sorry for the type argument um, you have to make sure that นะครับ when we talk about the um, type นะครับ it means that okay it is a logical value logical values means that value zero or one only นะครับ zero or one only so um, How do you gonna justify the value zero or what? If you pay at the end of the month or the week or the quarter, I have PMT uh, type is zero. But if you pay at the beginning of the week of the month of the quarter, I have the type is one. I have we have just either zero or one only. I have no other values for this. Okay. So in this one, I have PMT will calculate the payment that you have to pay. For a specific period, นะครับ that we specify, and then, นะครับ another thing that you have to know is that when we talk about the the rate, นะครับ when we talk about the rate, the rate must be um calculated, นะครับ um to just like match with the period of time that you pay as well. So that means normally, the interest rate that um the bank, นะครับ will tell you. นะครับ or the financial institution will tell you is um the rate นะครับ percent per year or annual rate นะครับ this it's the same thing นะครับ um for the um percent per year นะครับ or annual rate here you have to check first how frequent do you have to pay for example In this example, นะครับ example number one in here, I said that okay, monthly payment, นะครับ so that means you pay monthly. Then you have to change, นะครับ you have to change the interest rate, นะครับ to be percent per month instead. And in order to change from percent per year to be percent per month, you divide, sorry, you um divide the percent by twelve, นะครับ So that it will be percent per month. In term of like um, some example, we say that if we have to pay quarterly, like in the second example here, so you have to find percent per quarter. It means that normally when you get the percent per year, you have to divide it by four. Uh -huh. So that it become the percent per quarter. Uh -huh. Depends on the um the um. How many times per year that you have to pay? Have then you have to change um the interest rate accordingly. Okay, now let's move on. Um, the one of the most difficult part of the financial function is that how do you gonna change? Have how do you gonna change from um the um what problem to become the functions here? For example, here have. When you say that okay, you want to find the payments, that means we have to use PMT function. Uh, we have to use PMT function. Next, um, when you know that we need to find uh, the PMT function, uh, we have to um, know that okay, what are the uh, what are the arguments uh, that uh, we have to use? So in this one. I just like um to make it easy. I just list out all of the arguments that I need to use that are rate and per PV, FV, and type. Uh, and then we just like change each wording from the um word problem, uh, to fit with these arguments. Then it will be easy for us. Uh, so in this one, you can see that we say that we have to pay for a loan of fifty thousand dollars. So if you say that loan of fifty thousand, what do we get from this um this um information? When you get the loan, that means you get this money, นะครับ on the first day. So it means that it tell us about the PV, because whenever we ask for the loan, and if the bank if the bank grant you the loan on the first day of the contract, the money is with you. So that's why PV is fifty thousand. And it is positive fifty thousand because um, you have the money with you. I have, as I told you that okay, the symbol of the amount of money is positive or negative. It depends on whether the money is with you or you pay out the money. I have 
Okay. Next. Uh -huh. You want to pay it off. Means that you want to clear the debt. So that means future value for this debt is zero. Uh -huh. Or FV is zero. After that, uh, we said that, okay, um, we want to pay it off in full over five years. So that means a period of time is five years. But when we talk about the payments, uh, this payment is monthly payment. Then you have to change five years to be number of month. Then you have to multiply five by 12 then you get 60, uh, okay. The interest rate, as I mentioned earlier, when you have interest rate 5% per year, but you pay monthly, uh, you pay monthly, then you have to change um, the interest rate to be um, monthly, sorry, to be monthly percentage by dividing 5% by 12. Uh, dividing 5% by 12 so that you can get um, the monthly rate. So you can see that the um, interest rate per month uh, is a lot smaller than um, percent per year because percent per year is 5%, right? But for the percent, um, the rate per month is just 0.4167% only. Uh, and lastly, in this one, it said that payment made at the end of each month so the type is zero. Okay, so this is the way in order to calculate and um, formulate the arguments for this function. When you get this one already, the things that we should notice is about the PMT. Um, the amount of PMT that is calculated from this example, you can see that it is negative value. So negative value here means that you pay out and logically, this is correct because we said that we want to find the monthly payment. That means you want to know that, okay, in each month, how much do you have to pay? And this is the amount of money of that you have to pay out. It is $943.56 that you have to pay to the bank for clearing the loan or, um, in each month. This is what we learned for the PMT. After that, we talk about the function that is... Um, that is um, FV or future value. The FV for our future value function here, talk about the value of the money in the future. Um, depends on the contract. How long does it take? For example, um, in this one, we said that we want to find the future value um, over five years. That means at um, the end of five years, at the end of the five years, uh, the future value, how much is it? Uh, in this example, uh, sorry, when we talk about the FV function, okay, let me talk about the um, arguments in FV function and the syntax of the function first. Uh, for the um, FV function or future value function here, uh, um, we have rate and per PMT, PV, and type, and it returns the future value of in, an investment. Uh, of an investment. That means if you want to save your money, uh, um, for example, if today you have, you sorry, you start um, investing $1,000 for sure, um, at the end of the contractual period, you get more than $1,000 for sure. The rest of the money that you receive uh, will be the interest. Uh, so in this one, we want to find the future value. Uh, Future value here is um, the amount that you save now plus um, the amount of the interest. Uh, that is a future value. So in this one, uh, when, um, when um, in this example, it said that, okay, we want to find a future value for sure. This one, we want to find every, uh, then I just like listed out all the arguments that every need to use. And after that, I start like um, understanding for each for each argument that we need to have. In this one, we say that we want to invest one thousand dollars per month. Uh -huh. That means in this one, uh -huh, in this one, we have to save one thousand per month. That means when you want to save, you have to pay out your money to 
keep somewhere นะครับ for example you just like store in the bank um, buy some stock นะครับ something like that that is a form of investment or buy um, the bond something like that so when you say that you want to um, invest 1,000 per month นะครับ so in this one it is PMT for sure because you have to pay นะครับ and um, 1,000 you have to change it to be negative 1,000 as well because you will have to pay out every month นะครับ so that's why in this one um, PMT นะครับ PMT is like um, negative 1,000 นะครับ in here after that นะครับ um, you want to pay per month over five years. So in this one, it tells us that, okay, um, the, um, what to say, n per or number of period must be five years times 12. That is 60 times that you have to pay uh, this one. Um, present value in this example, it tells us that, okay, um, present value is zero means that today you start from nothing. I have um, what is what 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 does it mean by you start from zero dollars as a PV because sometimes I have when you would like to invest on day one you have let's say you may have one million bucks I have to save first or to invest first in that case if you want to start investing with one million baht on day one PV will become one million I have but in this case they say that present value is zero means that um, you gradually invest. For example, um, if you say that at the end of each month, you start saving $1,000. That means, for example, um, today is 27th of um, September. Then let's say on the 30th of September, you start paying $1,000. But today you, you don't do anything yet. You just say that you start a contract but the real payment will be made at the end of the month, something like that. Uh, and after that, we said that um, interest rate is 5% per year. Once again, uh, when we get the interest rate, you have to know that we pay per month, then you have to change the interest to be per month instead, then you have to divide by 12. Uh, so that you will get the interest per month. Okay. After that, it said um, about the uh, made at the end of each month for your payment. That's why type is zero. Uh, um, there are two things that you have to know. Uh, sometimes when you get the word problem, you may have to imply. You may have to imply that when do we have to pay. Sometimes, um, the um in the word problems it doesn't tell you that okay when you have to pay i can tell you that normally if the word problem doesn't say anything doesn't mention when do you have to pay each month you can assume that you pay at the end of each month because normally uh, when people receive their salary uh, it is the end of the month and that's a time that you have the money for investing so if the problem doesn't say um, when do you have to pay, uh, you may assume that you pay at the end of the month. Uh, except they say that, okay, at the beginning of the month, uh, Mr. A always save his money, blah, 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 that one. Then the time must be one instead. Uh, it depends on what the problem specify. Okay. And after that, we just calculate. When you calculate for the FV, you can see that for the future value as it is the investment for sure when you invest you get more money that's why um, the future value is positive value I have because at the end of the contract you receive the money I have that's why it's a positive value and if you want to see something more you can see that for the PMT I have you pay out one thousand dollars per month if you multiply 1,000 by 60, that is the um, exact amount that you have to pay now for the whole period, for the whole contractual period. That means you have to pay 60,000, right? You have to pay 60,000. But this is the money that you receive, $68,006.08. 
So that means if you subtract these two numbers together, uh -huh, um, you get um, $8,006.08. This amount is the interest that you receive uh -huh, because you really pay 60,000 only. Right, so this is like the, the information that you should know, right? Okay, so after we talk about the, um, the functions that are PMT and FV already, uh -huh. so today we will learn more functions. Uh -huh. We will learn for more functions. Okay. So it just won't be long, okay. So the next function, the next function that we have to learn is n per function. Is n per function. For the n per function, or number of period, this function tell us about the number of periods, number of periods that you have to pay to save your money or to um, pay the loan. N per or number of period will be um, number of, let's say it might be number of months, number of quarters, number of weeks, depends on how frequent do you pay. So um, you see the example. Now let's see, I'll just like show you for the syntax of this function first. So I just um, click on insert function button and then I type n per. Okay. So for the n per function, uh, it return number of period for investment based on periodic, constant payment and constant interest rate. Uh, uh, we still have to use the same assumption. Uh, the payment must be done equally every time. Um, the interest rate also must be paid um, constantly, that means you have to pay um, the interest rate. Um, sorry, the bank charge you or give you the same interest rate for the whole contract. Uh -huh. Okay, now the arguments that we need to have, we need to have rate, PMT, PV, FV, and type. Uh -huh. um, similar to um, other functions uh -huh. in this set, the meaning of um, these arguments are the same. Uh -huh. But just a little bit, you have to be careful. Uh -huh. The order of the arguments uh -huh, in each function will be different. So don't just copy from um, other functions and then you just delete um, the, the um, one of the argument out uh -huh, and replace by others. No, um, you have to just like um, check carefully that, okay, the order are red, PMT, PV, FV, and type. Um, you can see that in here, uh, it's different order. Uh, okay, so um, let me just like um, start with the example first so that you see how NPER works, uh, in what situation. So um, the um, the example is in your chat box already. I have okay. Now let's see. I have for uh, this example. I have okay. Firstly, it said that okay. We have to find number of months. I have number of months. That means it is the period for sure. In our class, we have to find n per. Uh, that is um, period of time. Uh, in this one, it is number of months. So that means the answer for n per in this case, when we finish calculating, uh, it, for example, it said x when you calculate it is x. x, the unit of x is x months in this example, because you said that we want to find number of months uh, in here. So, okay, let me just like put down all of the arguments that um, the n per needs to have. 
ครับ so we have red PMT PV every and type นะครับ okay so in this case นะครับ let's clarify each argument นะครับ for this example you can see that in here We would like to pay off the loan. Once again, when you would like to pay off, that means when the contract finish, you have no more debts. You have no more debts. So can somebody tell me? Okay, when you pay off the loan, we are talking about what argument? In this list, okay. Tanapon said that F B equals to zero. That's correct, Cap. Because now we want to pay off the loan. That means when the contract finish, we have no more debt. I have so in this one, it talks about F B that is zero. Okay, the loan of fifty thousand. Loan of fifty thousand. What does um fifty thousand loan of fifty thousand? What does it mean, Cap? Can you tell me which argument that the problem is talking about? Loan $50,000. It means PV. Because you borrow the money from the bank. So when we talk about PV, $50,000, is it positive or negative? Is fifty thousand positive or negative, Cap? Everyone. Hmm. Some of you say that negative. Why negative, Cap? You borrow money fifty thousand. Is the money is with you or is with the bank? Do you receive the money or you pay out the money, Cap? We receive. Yes, that's right. So when we receive. The symbol we have to use is positive, not negative, because you receive fifty thousand from the bank. So, in this one, the present value here is positive, fifty thousand. Next, interest rate is four percent per year. This one, it will tell us that the n per. Finally, it will become the months. Now, have important thing is here. If you enter four percent per year as four percent, now have the answer will be number of year. But this one, when we want to have number of months, you have to change. Now, have the interest rate to be interest rate per month as well. Now, have let's see, in this one. You have to just like divide four percent by twelve, uh, because you want it to be um monthly rate, uh, So I just divide four percent by twelve, uh, So that it will be the monthly rate. Uh, after that, I said that okay per month. Then I just change um the format of the sales a bit to be percentage. Okay, this is percent per month. I have okay. So now the next thing, payment of one thousand per month. Payment of one thousand dollars per month. Is it positive or negative? Cap for PMT. The payment you pay out, it must be neg. Uh, it must be negative. That's correct, Cap. Thank you, Pocharapon and Tanapon, Cap. It's negative values, na Cap. So we enter <coughs> negative one thousand. And payment made at the end of each month. What what value that you have to use for type, Cap? It must be zero. Yeah, that's correct, na Cap. Pay at the end of each month. It is zero. After that, we formulate 
um, the n per นะครับ value So in this one, have let's see the <clears throat> intermediate result on my screen a bit. You can see that um, in my one it shows fifty four point seven eight seven, or uh, fifty four point seven nine. So in this one, fifty four point seven nine it means number of month. So that means it's fifty four point seven nine month, or when you have to answer, I have, okay. You just like um, round it, I have, you just round it to be, let's say 55 months. That we have to pay in order to clear the loan. I have or to pay off the loan. Because I mean, like if you answer just 54.78, <clears throat> this one 0.78 month is, is difficult to calculate uh, then you may round it to be just like 55 months so that um, when other people read uh, they understand easily that okay it's 55 months approximately uh, say that around 55 months okay right Okay, now this one, this is the um, number of period that you have to pay to clear off or to pay off this debt or to, pay, um, to clear off this loan, $50,000. Um, with this information, we have to pay um, around 55 months. So in this one, you have to be careful when you have to calculate um, the end per, the the answer นะครับ or the result of n per always be positive นะครับ why is that because n per is the time and the time must be positive ครับ in order to calculate anything in terms of financial uh, functions that we learn, you never say that, okay, n per is negative something. Uh, if you get the negative, you cannot ignore that one. Uh, that is the error. You calculate something wrong. Then you have to go back and check what's going on with your calculation uh, because it must always be positive. Okay. Uh, okay. So this is the n per first example. Before I start um, the second example to let you do it by yourself, do you have any questions about this example? Uh, yes, Kap. Did we have to always round it up or we can also round it down? Um, if it is the debt, Kap, you should always round it up. For example, if it is, sorry, if it is 54.1 month, let's say, uh -huh. In this one, you shouldn't round it as 54 months. Uh -huh. You should round it up as 55 months as well. Why is that? Uh -huh. If you say that it's just 54 months, you may prepare your money to pay just exact 54 months. But what about 0 0.1 months? Uh -huh. you, you will not prepare the money to pay that debt. Uh -huh. and you'll be charged, you'll be fined by the bank. That's why you should just like say that, okay, or around, uh -huh. you have to use to, to specify that it's around 55 months approximately. Uh -huh. That is safer, uh -huh. that is safer. But I mean like for um, calculation, if you get like 54.1 like this, uh -huh. and you're not sure whether we should round it down or round it up, you just answer like 54.1 month. It's not wrong, but I mean like to make it to be proper, I mean, when you really work, and then um, if you have to just like tell your um, customer that, okay, um, how many months that your customer will have to pay to the bank, 
you may say that okay um you have to pay approximately 55 months something like that it's safer okay okay any other questions so far have anyone So if no, let's um, do example number two by yourself. Let me just like um, prepare the question for you first. Okay. So this is example number two. Everyone, please. Um, do example number two by yourself. I give you five minutes to do that. If you get the answer already, you may type your answer in the chat box, similar to what Tanapon just type it. Okay. Time's up. Okay. Now, okay, everyone. So, um, Tanapon said 12 months. Inae said 12 quarters. Okay. What about others? While, you, um, while I'm explaining, you may type your answer in the chat box. All right. Okay, now let's see. For this, um, for this example, you can see that, okay. You are asked to find the number of quarterly payment. Um, in this one, you can see that when we talk about the um, numbers of quarterly payments, uh, when you have to find this, that means um, you are asked to find the um, number of quarter. Number of quarters, that means in this one, it means um, in per or number of period. So um, we just like lay down all of the um, arguments for n per like this. So after that, in this case, we say that, okay, when you find out the answer, if you put everything according to the um, word problems, the answer must be quarters. So um, as I found that some of you, enter the answer have 12 only have without the unit of time have this one is not correct have you have to you must be able to specify that if you enter 12 12 what 12 month 12 week 12 quarters 12 years in this one have you can see that it asks for number of quarter have then the answer must be quarters have so for sure, I just put it here. I just put this one as number of period. The answer must be quarters in here that I'll put it down. Okay, now we say that the, um, you pay 1,200, you payment, um, your payment is 1,200. That means in this one, it talks about PMT. When we talk about PMT, you pay 1,200. The PMT here must be, must be negative 1,200 because for sure you pay out to reduce the loan. That's why it must be negative 1,200. Um, you want to reduce the loan, okay? In this example, you see already that sometimes when you want to pay at the end of contract, you don't pay off, but you just pay partially. That means you have to reduce from 9,000 to be 5,000. What are these values? For 9,000, um, you get the money from 9,000 from the bank. <clears throat> so that means this is PV. Uh, this is the amount of money that you receive from the bank. Uh, and it must be positive. And when the contract finish, or when you find out that, okay, number of period that you just like um, clarify, this one, um, you don't 
pay off นะครับ or clear off the debt but you still have all the money 5,000 นะครับ this is FV นะครับ the um the part that you have to interpret is this one from 9,000 to 5,000 that means you still have the debt but the debt in the future is just $5,000 only and it's positive too because that amount of money 5,000 is still with you นะครับ you still owe the bank the money is still with you so it must be positive so that means the PV in here นะครับ from 9,000 positive นะครับ to 5,000 นะครับ that is positive too นะครับ this is the meaning of um, reduce a loan from 9,000 to 5,000 it tell us about um, PV and FV and we say that interest <coughs> interest rate is six percent per year <coughs> But we said that we want to find number of quarters. Then you have to change นะครับ or convert the interest rate per, <coughs> per year to become the interest rate per quarter first. In order to change the interest from quarter to be uh, sorry from year to be quarter, you have to divide it by four. นะครับ so it will become interest rate per quarter. นะครับ so in here <coughs> I just put equals to 6% divided by 4. I have K and I said that this is interest rate per quarter. And the type, we said that payment made at beginning of each quarter type is one, right? After that, I formulate this function. Okay, you can see that in this example, it shows the result that is 11.90. I have quarters 11.90 quarters or I have 12 quarters around 12 quarters so this is like the answer that we get so for anyone who just like um and so that is 12 months, uh, you have to justify the problem. Uh, you say that, okay, you want to find number of quarterly payments and also you turn 6% um, per year interest to be percent per quarter. So the answer must be number of quarters. Uh, the, um, must be number of quarters. Okay, right. Okay. Before we move on um, to another function, do you have any questions about this? Okay, so if you don't have any questions, I have, let me move on to the next function. The next function is a function PV. I have is a function PV. PV is a function that is used to find the present value. I have to find the present value. I have for the PV function, we have to use rate N per PMT, FV, and type. I have as its um arguments I have PV we return present value of an investment I have the total amount of um, the total amount that a series of future payments is worth now I have future payment is worth now for example I have somebody may use PV in order to calculate like um, the amount of money that insurance company will pay us or um, it might be used in order to calculate for amount of money that the bank นะครับ will give it to you นะครับ for the loan as a loan if you request for it นะครับ let's see in the example and then I'll just like explain to you how it works
So in this one, นะครับ in this example, you are asked to find present value of an annuity. นะครับ What does it mean? Um, for the annuity, there there are two meanings. นะครับ The first meaning is that okay, when you just like prepare the contract of the loan, นะครับ that the bank will give it to you. The annuity means the amount of money that the bank will give it to you. นะครับ Or in term of insurance, นะครับ in term of insurance like um the life insurance, นะครับ um it means that annuity means that the amount of money, นะครับ that the insurance will pay to you, นะครับ Okay, so when you want you when you would like to find the present value, for example, if you say that okay, the bank said that normally the interest rate is five percent per year, นะครับ and you can afford to pay one thousand per month in five years, นะครับ present value means that how much can the bank give it to you as a loan, นะครับ in here, okay, so in here, นะครับ you can see that. You ask to find the present value. That means the bank would like to find. Um, sorry, the the um, sorry. You would like to find the PV or present value. I have. So I'll just like put all of the argument that PV needs to have. I have first. We have red, and per PMT, I have FV and type. Okay, I put them like this first. Next, I have. Um, interest rate five percent per year. I have five percent per year. Um, let me just like continue reading first. Five percent per year and payment of one thousand dollars per month over five years. I have payment made at the end of each month. In this one, you can see that the duration of each payment. I have we talk about like a uh, month. I have all the time. So that means. When we have to find out the interest rate, นะครับ you also have to change from percent per year to be percent per month. So the interest rate here, นะครับ we have to change from five percent per year, นะครับ to be oh sorry, five percent per year divided by twelve, นะครับ so that you have um. This amount, นะครับ per month, นะครับ this um um sorry interest rate per month like this. Okay, next, นะครับ we talk about payment of one thousand per month. So in this one, it means a PMT for sure. But be careful, นะครับ Payment one thousand per month means that you pay out. It must be negative one thousand dollars per month. Next, over five years, it means that for over five years, I have um we have what to say we have um the n per, นะครับ We have to change it to be number of months first. So you multiply five by twelve, นะครับ You get Sixty months. PMT is negative one thousand. Yeah. Okay. And then in this one, นะครับ when we talk about annuity, นะครับ the bank will assume that, นะครับ um when five years pass, you pay off the debt, นะครับ you pay off the debt. That is the expectation of the bank or financial institution that allows you to borrow the money. So. In this case, if it doesn't state otherwise, นะครับ when we talk about annuity, every is zero, ครับ you pay off the debt. And lastly, type may um payment made at the end of each month it is zero, นะครับ okay. So when you just like think or calculate for the standard loan, นะครับ um future value the bank always calculated that it is zero, นะครับ um Except the previous example, you can see that you don't pay off the debt, but you reduce the debt from nine thousand to five thousand. I have, but the standard one or the common one, you should clear off the debt at the end of the time. So that's why I put every as zero in this case. I have when you, when the customer clear off the debt within five years, I have every will be zero. 
after that I calculate PV นะครับ I calculate PV Okay, and then I start entering all of the arguments. Okay, so you can see that in here, I uh, have um, the intermediate result is showing um, 52,990, uh, 70 cents. So that means, and, and also it is positive number, uh, and it is positive number. So that means, okay, let me just change this one a bit, okay. So that means uh, if you can pay $1,000 per month for 60 months and the bank charge you 5% per year, uh, present value or annuity or the amount of money that the bank can lend you is 52,990.71. Uh, this is present value or annuity. Uh, okay. So for PV, I give you just one example only because it is annuity, otherwise you might be a bit confused. Before I move on to the next function, up to this point, do you have any questions? Type, okay. Not that I asked me about the type. When you pay at the end of the month, type is zero, it stayed in the function every time that you just talk about in here. Okay, have a look on my screen. Type is logical value. Payment at the beginning of the period is one. Payment at the end of the period is zero. So that's why in this one, it said that way we pay at the end of each month. That's why this type must be zero. Okay. Right, any other questions? Okay. If no, let's move on to the next function. The next function in this series, that is the last function in this set already. That is the red function. That is the red function. For the red function, red function is a function to find to find the interest rate in both investment or um, um, loan. So in this one, let's see, for the rate function, the series of the arguments are similar to other functions in the same sets. We need to have um, N per PV, sorry, N per PMT, PV, FV, and type. And we have another spatial, um, we have another spatial um, argument, another extra argument that is guess. That is guess. Okay, let's have a look. What is the guess argument? Before I talk about the um, list of arguments inside, rate function return interest rate per period of a loan or an investment. And um, you have to just like make it as like 6% divided by four for quarterly payment if the interest is um, 6% um, and no interest rate per year <clears throat> is 6%. Now let's see, I just like um, scroll down to guess and have a look what does guess mean in this case. Guess is your guess for what the rate will be if omitted, the guess is 0.1 or 10%. Uh, um, what is this, what is this, um, what to say, what is this argument used for? Uh, in the past, when we didn't have like um, the um, high speed of the CPU uh, or processor like we have got right, like right now, uh, um, guess argument was very useful because otherwise, when you had to calculate um, the interest rate. Uh, um, Excel will use uh, the concept uh, to try finding the rate uh, by just like um, just like um, running Microsoft Excel uh, until it find the matching rate. Um, so 
if you don't have any basic information for it, นะครับ Excel started from 0%, 0 0.0001%, 0.0002% and try on until it just like get the the correct interest rate. That might take some time. That's why, นะครับ If you have any information like, for example, um, if you know that okay, approximately it should be like around two percent per year, something like that. Just give it first. But if it's wrong, no problem. Excel will try to find the correct rate finally. But it just like try the um the value that you give it as a guess first. But in this case, you say that oh, I don't know. I just learn about like a function here. How do I know that? What should be the rate that we have got? If you don't know, just omit it. Omit means that you skip that one. You don't need to enter anything for the rate, uh, for the guess. Nah, uh -huh. Excel will just like run by itself. And um, because right now we have like quite um fast CPU or processor, nah, uh -huh. you don't worry about the rate too much. Nah, uh -huh. the guess too much. Sorry. Because um, Excel will just like run quickly in order to find the proper interest rate for you. Uh -huh. Okay, then we can just like omit or we can skip the guess value without entering anything. Uh -huh. Okay, but um, why don't Excel just like remove this guess argument? Uh -huh. um, there are two reasons. The first one, uh -huh, the users who have been using Excel for a long time. Uh -huh, Some of them are familiar with this argument, นะครับ um, and they used to use the guess argument before, so that's why Excel has to just like retain this argument. Next, because sometimes when you calculate, let's say hundred of sales, นะครับ hundreds of sales to calculate the rate in different um scenarios. In that case. It means that those hundreds of sales นะครับ will be calculated at the same time. That may cause like Excel to be slow down. Then it is great if you can just like provide some guessing values of the interest rate for Excel. นะครับ so that's why they still retain this one. But in terms of like um learning and studying for the rate function here, you don't need to enter any guess values. Just omit it. I have just skip it. Um, okay. Now let's see. Uh -huh. When we see all of the arguments for the rate function already, let's see the example. Uh -huh. Let's see the example for the rate function here. Uh -huh. The first example is to find the interest rate like this. Uh -huh. Okay. In this example, uh -huh. You can see that you are asked to find the monthly interest rate. That means in here, you want to um we need to find the interest rate. Uh -huh. Okay. Um, when you find it, uh -huh, for the uh, monthly interest rate in here, the interest rate in here. So um these are list of arguments uh -huh, that we have to prepare for um finding the interest. Uh -huh. Okay. We have n per PMT PV every type and guess. Uh -huh. Okay. So for the first one, uh -huh, first um information that you get from um this word problem is that it said um you want to clear a loan of fifty thousand. When you want to clear a loan, for sure, it tell us about FV or future value. You have no more debt, so in this case, F V is zero. Uh -huh. Okay, you have the loan of fifty thousand dollars. Means that you borrow the money from the bank. Fifty thousand dollars is your P V. Uh -huh. It is your P V because you have the loan fifty thousand with the bank. Positive fifty uh thousand. -huh. Because you get the money from the bank. Then. With payment of one thousand dollars per month, this one it means PMT. By the way, uh -huh, when you pay to the bank one thousand dollars, it must be negative one thousand, uh -huh, because the money is out of your pocket. Uh -huh, negative one thousand. Okay. 
pay after that you want to pay นะครับ to clear this um, loan per month นะครับ over five years that means the end per or number of period you have to change it to be month number of months because you say that okay you pay per month then number of period must be number of month then you multiply five by twelve นะครับ number of months then you say that okay it's sixty months นะครับ okay and the type The type in here, payment made at the end of each month. Cup. What is the type? Cup? Um, hang on. Not the night. Cup. What is the type in this example? It's zero. Yeah, that's correct. Cup. Why? The reason is because you made at uh, you made payment at the end of the month. Cup. At the end of the period when you pay, the type is always be zero. Okay, guess you don't know. I leave it like that. Nah, I don't enter anything. So I start um calculating the rates. Nah, from the function rate here. Nah, okay. Okay. All right. So you can see that the formula result นะครับ is showing intermediate result as 0.006 นะครับโอเค I click OK first it is not 1% นะครับ 1% is just the um displaying you have to enter the um interest um sorry you have to in enter the um decimal points ครับ so in here นะครับ in here the rate is 0.618% Per what? What is the period for this rate, Cap? Everyone, is it zero point six one eight percent per what? Per month, นะครับ Yeah, that's correct, Cap. Everyone, that you end um answer per month, it is correct, นะครับ So this is six um zero point six one eight percent per month. Or if you want to change it to be um annual interest rate, นะครับ You just multiply this rate by 12, and this is the interest rate per year. But actually, um, you just answer percent per month is okay because in the um question it said that monthly interest rate, นะครับ Okay, but if you just like make um you want to make this one to just like standardize um the rate, นะครับ you can just answer that is seven point four two percent per year, something like that. Because I mean, like normally when you are the bank, and you would like to make your your customer to see that okay, what is the interest rate? Normally the um the customer may just like want to know that okay, what is the rate per year, นะครับ than just the rate per month because it's a standard one. But in this problem, just in this problem only, it asks for monthly interest rate. Then just zero point six one eight percent per month is okay. Okay, this is the first example of the rate function. Before I move on to the next example, to let you do it by yourself, do you have any questions about this first example? Okay, if you don't have any question, นะครับ let's move on to the next to the next example. Okay, so for this one, นะครับ okay. Because you are quite used to um, this function already, นะครับ I give you three minutes, ครับ Some of you answer zero point three to five percent per month. Some of you answer t zero point three five two or three five three percent per month. Now let's see, นะครับ Which one is correct? Um, 
so for this one นะครับ we are asking to find the monthly interest rate นะครับ that means this one we are we are we have to find out the um, rate function นะครับ okay in here we want to save this is the problem of investment we want to save twenty thousand dollars over two years นะครับ so that means นะครับ that means In this one, we want when we want to save twenty thousand dollars, uh, which argument, นะครับ that we have to put twenty thousand dollars, ครับ everyone. What is argument for twenty thousand dollars? Someone said PV. Someone said FV. นะครับ When we say that we want to save twenty thousand dollars over two years, that means we want to collect the money to have or to get twenty thousand dollars over two years. That is F V, not P V. F V. We want to save twenty thousand dollars, and then when it becomes F V and it is the investment or saving, for sure F V, the money belongs to you. At that time. Then it will be positive values. I have twenty thousand. Okay, this one is F V. Next, I have with an investment of eight hundred per month. I have eight hundred per month is what argument? I have we invest eight hundred dollars per month. What is the argument? P M T. I have that's correct. You pay out right. That must be negative eight hundred. นะครับ That is PMT. Next, นะครับ Um, we said that okay. Um, we want to save, นะครับ The money in two years, นะครับ That is the end per. But you have to change it to become month number of month first to match with it. Then in here, I multiply two um two years by twelve, นะครับ Okay. And then present value in here it doesn't say anything. That means that you start from zero dollars. You don't just like have the um the um some amount of money to pay at the first time. Then the PV is zero. Type, you pay at the start of each month. What is the type? What is the value of the type that we have to put? It must be. Someone said zero. Someone said one. Zero or one? Cap in here. Start of each month. Nah, cap. It must be one. Nah, cap. It must be one. Okay. Guess. I just leave it like that. Nah, cap. I omit this value. And then we just like start calculating our interest rate. Nah, cap. So in this one, you can see that we get zero point three two five percent. I have zero point three two five percent interest rate per what? Per depends on number of period that we calculate. I have. You can see that in here. I have all the units related to months. Then the interest rate will be interest rate per month as well. I have in here, right? So this is the answer for this um example. Have the interest rate will be zero point three to five percent per month. I have for this one. So up to this point, do you have any questions? Have anyone? Okay. So if you don't have any questions, I have. If you don't have any questions, let's move on to the next set of functions. I have that we have to learn. After we finish talking about um the first set of functions, I have that we learn already. I have. Okay, let me just like move up to my first part in here. We have PMT, FVN per PVN rate. I have. So you know how to use these arguments and these functions already. The next set is that we will learn for IPMT and PPMT. These um two functions, นะครับ um derive from the first set of function. You can see that the similar, the similar 
backwards นะครับ for set to function is PMT right okay but we have I in front นะครับ or we have P in front นะครับ what are they นะครับ so when we talk about the amount of money นะครับ um, that you have to calculate นะครับ we start from PMT right so the formula นะครับ in order to calculate is like this ครับ PMT นะครับ come from two parts นะครับ the first part is PPMT and the second part is IPMT นะครับ PPMT what does it mean the P come from principle นะครับ why I come from interest or I come from interest so that means each month or each period of time or each quarter when you pay out นะครับ the amount of your payment come from two parts one part is principal the other part is interest นะครับ so um If you remember, I told you that the assumption for the financial functions, นะครับ you have you need to have constant payment. For example, in here, นะครับ if we say that you want to pay ten thousand, oh sorry, you want to pay one thousand dollars per month, นะครับ that means every time, นะครับ that you pay, you always pay equally, นะครับ That is one thousand dollars in this example, but the proportion of the money are different. Are different. I will say that okay. At the very beginning, this is period zero. Oh, sorry, period one, two, three, and n. So at the very beginning periods. The amount, นะครับ that you pay, นะครับ mostly, นะครับ mostly, they are interest. The small part, นะครับ that is principal. When the time goes by, you pay principal more, and you pay interest less. And lastly, if you say that okay, your um periods that you have to pay is 60 months. Let's say suppose I said this is month 60. The majority of the payment is the principal, and just like a small um proportion is interest. Uh, you can see that okay, but anyway, if you sum both of them, they're still like. The same amount of money in this example, one thousand dollars. It means from period one, I have you pay one thousand dollars. Period sixty, you still pay one thousand dollars anyway. But the proportion of the amount of money are different. I have okay. So um, when you have to just like calculate this, I have there is one more argument that you have to know and you have to use. It is. Argument that is called as period, because you have to specify what month or what period you would like to know the amount of principal or the amount of interest. Okay, so now let's see. I have the um function IPMT. I'll start from in the interest first. I have IPMT first. So let's see the function IPMT. <clears throat> For the function IPMT here, we said that okay, this function returns the interest payment for a given period for an investment based on periodic 
constant payment and constant interest rate. If you have a look, นะครับ <coughs> we have the arguments that are rate per n per PV, FV and type. For rate n per PV, FV and type, you're familiar with it. But what is per? Per is period. นะครับ Period is just like the um, month number or quarter number like this. You have to specify what period you would like to know the interest rate, um, interest amount, because the interest amount can be will be different in each period of time. That's why you have to specify it as well. But for the rest of the arguments, they are the same. Okay. So now let's see. I'll just like show with the example. For this example, <coughs> you are asked to find you are asked to find the interest payment. So that means you would like to find the um, IPMT in this example. So I just like list out all of the arguments that IPMT need to use first. We have rate per and per PV, FV, and type. Okay. In this one, I want to find interest payment during month one and month two. So that means the per is month one or month two. So that means I can calculate month one in one column and month two in another column. Okay. So I said that, okay, I enter per first, month one. Okay, let's see, I will do month one first. Nahab. On a loan of $50,000, that means you ask for the loan 50,000, the present value is 50,000 because you borrow from the bank as a loan. Nahab. It is PV, 50,000 positive nahab, because you borrow the money from the bank, the money is with you now. Nahab. That is to be paid off you want to clear the debt, then FV is zero. Okay. Interest rate is 5% per year. In this one, you can see that we want to find interest payment during month one and month two. That means it must be monthly units. Then um, interest rate from 5% per year, you have to change the interest rate to be red per month. 5% divided by 12 in this case. So it is 5% slash 12 rate per month. Okay. So the next one, we said that payment made at the end of each month type is zero. So number of period here, we say that, okay, we want to pay it off over five years. That means number of period is five times 12 because we want to make it as number of months. Okay. Now we get all of the values or of the arguments already. I start calculating IPMT. I start calculating IPMT. So when I calculate IPMT, then I get the answer like this.
you can see that in here นะครับ it said negative two hundred zero eight point three three นะครับ negative two hundred and eight point three three that means that means นะครับ you pay นะครับ the interest นะครับ for two hundred dollars thirty three cents นะครับ every month sorry oh, not every month I'm sorry let me say again so that means on month number one you have to pay the interest two hundred and eight dollars thirty three cents what about month two have month two I do the similar way around นะครับ but I just change นะครับ from period นะครับ number one to period number two like this Okay. So now, let's see. Assume that I want to know what about month sixty because we said that we want to pay off in um, five years. Month sixty should be our last month of this contract, right? Let's see how much is the interest. I have. I change the per to be 60. You can see that the interest of month 60 is $3.92. If you can, um, if you remember, I told you that the amount of money, the amount of money, that is the interest. Okay. Firstly, month one, month two and the last month in this case is month 60. Uh, you can see that in here uh, month one you pay you pay interest the most while month 60 is the least amount. You can see that now we just like talk about the amount of money นะครับ without talking about the symbol. You can see that the value two hundred and eight dollars thirty three cent is more than two hundred and five dollars twenty seven cent. That is more than three dollars ninety two. นะครับ so that's why in month sixty you pay the interest the least นะครับ just three dollars ninety two cents only. Uh -huh. So this is the way to find the interest payments uh -huh, of each month. Okay. All right then. Uh -huh. In this example, do you have any questions? Okay. So if you don't have any questions, uh -huh, I have um, one example for you to do before we finish the class today. Uh -huh. For this one, uh -huh. in this example, is the example to find interest payment as well. You are asked to find interest payments. Uh -huh. So that is IPMT, right? So we prepare um, the IPMT functions in here with its list of the arguments. I have the ring quarter one, quarter two. I have then I just put quarter one, quarter two like this. Quarter one, quarter one, quarter two. In this case, it is per. I have period one or period two. I put period one, period two in here. So I just do period one first and then I copy to period two. I have, okay. Um, into an investment with current value is zero. I have current value is zero. That is PV. I have, so PV is zero. You want to reach 5,000. I have, you want to reach 5,000. That is your future value. I have positive 5,000. Uh, because you want to reach 5,000, yeah, okay. Over two years, over two years, uh, this one is n per, 
But in this one, it said that you want to pay um, quarter one, quarter two. That means you have to change um, quarters um, and per to be number of quarter first. So you multiply two years by four quarters per year, then you get eight. That is n per. Interest rate, you have to change it to be quarterly rate as well. 3.5% per year, you have to change to be um, the percent per quarter. So in this one, rate is 3.5% divided by four to change it to be um, quarterly rate. Type you pay at the beginning of the quarter. Uh -huh. then type is one. You might say that mm, it is zero dollars. Is it correct? Yes, cap, it's correct. Uh -huh. As long as you just like um, put all of the information above correctly. That means for this investment in quarter one, you have no interest at all. Uh -huh. That is not strange. Uh -huh. It's the regular thing. Uh -huh. So that's why I think that some of you may think that you are doing something wrong. It's not wrong. This is zero dollars. That's correct already. Uh -huh. After that, I copy to quarter two. You can see that in quarter two, we gradually have the interest that is $5.26 in positive. That means you receive the interest. And lastly, I have quarter eight. Let's see, because you can see that we just like invest for eight quarters only. Now let's see. The last quarter in this contract, we get the interest up to $37.78. Now, this is the interest that you will receive when you just like um, deposit or when you invest for the eight quarter. Now, you get the interest for $37.78. So as I show you in this diagram, now, the first period in this one, now, the interest payment is just $0 and you gradually have more, that is um, 526. And lastly, for quarter eight, this is the maximum one, 3778, that is for last quarter. Okay, right. Okay, then everyone, I'll stop at this point, and then on the next class, I'll just like explain more. I have zero slash five point two six per quarter. Not per quarter, I have the um the the interest. I have is not per quarter because each quarter we get different amount of payment. I have as interest. Then you have to specify that. Okay, five point two six is the interest of quarter two, something like that. Okay.